Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to install Windows 11 on Ubuntu 24.10 using VirtualBox 7.1. Usually many people try to install Ubuntu 24.10 on Windows 11 with VirtualBox 7.1 but this time I tried the opposite, installing Windows 11 on Ubuntu 24.10 with VirtualBox 7.1. Okay. Let me get straight to the point with this video tutorial. The first step is to open your favorite browser. Then open your favorite search engine. In the search engine search box, type Windows 11 ISO. On the search results page, click the download Windows 11 Microsoft.com link. To download the Windows 11 ISO, scroll down to the download Windows 11 disk image, ISO, 4x64 section. Then click the select download menu then select Windows 11 Multi Edition ISO X64 devices. Then click the download now menu. Then select the product language from the drop down menu. Then click the confirm menu. Then click the 64 bit download menu. Now determine the place or folder where you will save the Windows 11 ISO. Windows 11 ISO download process is in progress and wait until the download process is complete. Now the Windows 11 ISO download process is complete. The second step is to create a virtual machine. To do this open VirtualBox from Launchpad. To create a virtual machine click the new button in the right panel. In the name column, type your virtual machine name. Here I named the virtual machine as Windows 11. Then go to the ISO image section, click the drop down menu, select your Windows 11 ISO. Then click the open button. Then check the skip unattended installation box. Now go to the hardware section. As you can see in the hardware section, base memory is automatically set to 4 GB. Processor is set to 2 CPUs. And enable EFI is also automatically checked. Now go to the hard disk section. As you can see the virtual hard disk is automatically set to 80 GB. Now click the finish button. Now click on the settings button on the right side panel. Then go to the display section on the left panel. As you can see video memory is automatically set to 128 megabytes. Also click the check mark on enable 3D acceleration. Then click the OK button. Now click on the start button to start the Windows 11 virtual machine. Here you need to press any key to boot from CD or DVD. Here you can select the language as well as the time and currency format. Or you can leave English as default and then click the next button. 
Here you can select the keyboard or input method or leave English as the default. Then click the next button. Here you have to select install Windows 11. Then select I agree everything will be deleted including files, apps, and settings. Then click the next button. Here you can enter your Windows 11 product key. Or if you don't have a product key, click I don't have a product key. Here you can select the image or edition of Windows 11 you want to install. Then click the next button. Here you can read the applicable notices and license terms. Then click the accept button. Here you have to select the hard disk. Then click the next button. Now ready to install Windows 11. Then click the install button. Now the Windows 11 installation process is in progress and wait for the installation process to complete. After the installation process now need to do some configuration. Here you can select your country or region. Then click the yes button. Here you can select the keyboard layout or input method. Then click the yes button. Here you can add a second keyboard layout or if you don't need a second keyboard you can click the skip button. Here you can give a name to your device. Then click the next button. Here you can set up your device. Here I choose set up for personal use. Then click the next button. Here you have to sign in to continue the configuration. I looked for the skip sign in the menu but it wasn't there. Now click on the sign in button. Here you have to sign in with Microsoft account. But what if you just want to use an offline account? When I click on sign in option I don't find offline account option. So if you want to use offline account, you need to do some tricks. To do this press shift plus F10 on your keyboard to open command prompt. In the command prompt that show up, type the correct command OOBE backslash bypass and row then press enter. Now your system will restart after executing the command. After restarting now you need to select your location again. Then click the next button.
Here you can select the keyboard layout or input method. Then click the yes button. Here you can add a second keyboard layout or if you don't need a second keyboard you can click the skip button. Here you can give a name to your device. Then click the next button. Here you can set up your device. Here I choose set up for personal use. Then click the next button. There is still no change here, you still need to sign in to continue the configuration process. Now click on the sign in button. Here still need to sign in with Microsoft account. Now let's check the sign in options. As you can see still the same as before, can't get past Microsoft account sign in. Now need to use a little more trick. To perform this trick you need to press shift plus F10 on your keyboard to open command prompt. In command prompt type the correct command IP protocol configuration slash release then press enter. This command effectively disconnects your computer from the internet. Now close the command prompt window. Then click the back icon in the upper left corner. As you can see now you can use local account instead of using Microsoft account. Now type your name. Then click the next button. Here you can create a password or not. If you don't want to use a password, just leave it blank. Then click the next button. Here you can choose the privacy settings for your device. Then click the accept button. Windows 11 has been successfully installed on VirtualBox on Ubuntu 24.10. The last step is to install VirtualBox Guest Editions. To do this click the Devices menu and select Insert Guest Edition CD Image. Now open File Explorer. Now open the VirtualBox Guest Editions Virtual CD Drive. Now double click on the VBOX Windows Editions AMD64 file to run the installation. In the pop-up window that show up, click the yes button. Here is the VirtualBox Guest Edition setup window. Click the next button to continue. Click the next button again to continue. Then click the install button. The installation process is complete, then click the finish button to restart the system.
So that's the tutorial on how to install Windows 11 on VirtualBox 7.1 on Ubuntu 24.10. If you have any questions, you can ask them in the comments section. And see you again in my next tutorial.